Being a successful gaming company in 2023 is one of the most lucrative and sought after businesses in the market. Like think about the average like big company you think of when it comes to you know making a lot of money. There's ones like Tesla, Samsung, you know Coca-Cola, all multi-billion dollar companies you traditionally think of but now in these modern times you can even factor in a company like Activision that makes virtual war sandboxes that allow you to teabag a dead player that you quickscoped. Billions. And the reason that that's the way things are now are because of you. Yeah, I'm pointing at you, you know what you did. Gaming went from a little niche hobby that you had to go to the arcade and maybe play after school as a kid, to now being endorsed by damn near every other medium imaginable and gaining millions upon millions of fans every day. Hell, I make videos talking about this shit almost every day. It's not just about games anymore, it's a lifestyle. But that's how we view it, aka the consumer slash gamers. On the other side of that coin are the businesses that I mentioned that spend a lot of money every year to pump out as many great games as possible. Well, I don't know about great, but you know, we definitely get a lot of games. But it's not just about them having studios that spend time making these games. You see, there's a whole boring ass business politics side of gaming that's put into it like acquisitions, you know, exclusivity deals, marketing, profit projections. If you think that their work ends with you speedrunning with a fictional hedgehog, you just be delusional. So with that whole aspect of business comes a whole aspect of risk that's common to see in this kind of field of work. Sometimes every gaming deal or projection doesn't work out and the consequences can lead to a loss of a studio or even worse, an entire company shutting down. And we've seen that all too many times before in the gaming world. but. It's likely we're once again about to go through part of that as big company Embracer Group is once again looking to sell off one of their studios to a third party company as part of their restructuring program after making a failed deal with Savvy Games Group. Now if that name Embracer Group sounds a little familiar, that's because just a few days ago you know I talked about this company just ending another one of their game studios Volition who was behind the Saints Row games and uh, that uh, wound is still kind of fresh so. I'm gonna keep this on deck. Bro, what? Where's my tissue? I don't have tissue in this house. And even after that tragic news, not even two weeks later, this same group has gone on to report that they're looking to sell another fan favorite studio, being Gearbox Entertainment, a studio behind great games like the Borderlands series, the Remnant games, and Homeworld. Now, I've personally never played Homeworld, but Remnant 2 just got released not even that long ago, and the gameplay looked dope. And as far as the Borderlands games, I played 2 and 3, and those were classics even though something about Claptrap always just annoyed me. I think I've said it before in the video, I just don't know why, he's just so weird. But now it seems like we may have to live in a reality where these games are under another gaming company in which we don't know if it'll do them any good or bad. Now if you're still unfamiliar with what exactly went wrong with their deal to Savvy Games, well, basically Savvy put down a lot of bread into Embracer, but due to them buying a lot of studios trying to be like Microsoft, they're now in debt and looking to shave off that debt in any way possible, and this most recent announcement with them selling Gearbox is another way for them to easily get a quick fix of capital. Now again, this move isn't in any way shape or form confirmed, but seeing how they're in the multi-millions of debt and they just shit on my entire childhood by any volition, it's pretty likely they'll sell off the dev team to the highest bidder. And honestly man, you know, right now, I don't really feel, you know, either way on whether the studio should be sold or not because they didn't disclose which company was interested in buying it, like if it was Sony who wanted to buy them then yeah, they might have a chance at reclaiming their peak fame since Sony actually gives a f about their games, but if it was a company like Ubisoft who's making bad decisions left and right, then well, yeah, GG's. But it's just the factor of us not knowing much right now, so of course we'll just have to wait and see what happens to this amazing team of you know developers. Hopefully everything works out and wherever Gearbox goes they continue to make classic games. So what do you guys think about this news about Gearbox being possibly sold man? Feel free to leave a comment down below and as always if you like on the video subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all.